How to become a better thinker Do you want to master the process of good thinking? Do you want to be a better thinker tomorrow than you are today? Then you need to engage in an ongoing process that improves your thinking. I recommend you do the following one. Expose yourself to good input Good thinkers always prime the pump of ideas. They always look for things to get the thinking process started because what you put in always impacts what comes out. Read books, review trade magazines, listen to tapes, and spend time with good thinkers. And when something intrigues you, whether it's someone else's idea or the seed of an idea that you've come up with yourself, keep it in front of you. Put it in writing and keep it somewhere in your favorite thinking place to stimulate your thinking point to expose yourself to good thinkers spend time with the right people. As I worked on this section and bounced my ideas off of some key people so that my thoughts would be stretched, I realized something about myself. All of the people in my life whom I consider to be close friends or colleagues are thinkers. Now, I love all people. I try to be kind to everyone I meet and I desire to add value to as many people as I can through conferences, books, audio lessons, etc. But the people I seek out and choose to spend time with all challenge me with their thinking and their actions. They are constantly trying to grow and learn. That's true of my wife, Margaret, my close friends, and the executives or in my companies. Every one of them is a good thinker. The writer of Proverbs observed that sharp people sharpen one another, just as iron sharpens iron. If you want to be a sharp thinker, be around sharp people. Point 3. Choose to think good thoughts to become a good thinker. You must become intentional about the thinking process. Regularly put yourself in the right place to think, shape, stretch, and land your thoughts. Make it a priority. Remember, thinking is at a supply. Recently I had breakfast with Dan Cathy, the president of Chick-fil-A, a fast food chain headquartered in the Atlanta area. I told him that I was working on this book and I asked him if he made thinking time a high priority. Not only did he say yes, but he told me about what he calls his thinking schedule. It helps him to fight the hectic pace of life that discourages intentional thinking. Dan says he sets aside time just to think for half a day every two weeks, for one whole day every month, and for two or three full days every year. Dan explains, this helps him keep the main thing, the main thing since I am so easily distracted you may want to do something similar, or you can develop a schedule and method of your own. No matter what you choose to do, go to your thinking place, take paper and pen, and make sure you capture your ideas in writing. Point 4. Act on your good thoughts. These have a short shelf life. You must act on them before the expiration date. World War I flying ace Ed Derrick and Becker said it all when he remarked, I can give you a six-word formula for success. Think things through then follow through five. Allow your emotions to create another good thought to oh, start the thinking process. You cannot rely on your feelings. In Failing Forward, I wrote that you can act your way into feeling long before you can feel your way into action. If you wait until you feel like doing something you will likely never accomplish it. The same is true for thinking. You cannot wait until you feel like thinking to do it. However, I've found that once you engage in the process of good thinking, you can use your emotions to feed the process and create mental momentum. Try it for yourself. After you go through the disciplined process of thinking and enjoy some success, allow yourself to savor the moment and try riding the mental energy of that success. If you're like me, it's likely to spur rational thoughts and productive ideas. Point six. Repeat the process one good thought does not make a good life. The P.O.P.